going over the live preview function of IDMSS and GDMSS. And we're also going to show you how to add a DVR to your IDMSS or GDMSS app. When you first open the application, sometimes you will get a series of icons. You'll have two icons, one on top of the other. A red camera and a door below it. What we're going to go ahead and do is click the red camera and it should bring you to this live preview screen. Once at the live preview screen, you'll see three lines on the top left. I'm going to click that and it will bring open a new menu where you can access live preview, playback, device manager, local files that you save to your computer, favorites, etc. So we're going to go ahead and click device manager. Now we're going to click the plus sign on the top right. So allow us to add a device. Under here, we are going to click IP slash domain. For the name, you can name it whatever you like. Just make sure it references your DVR so that you know which one it's going to be if you have multiple DVRs. For the address, for the most part, you will be putting in a name address, not a series of numbers like this. It will be something along the lines of youroffice.quickddns.com. For the port, we're going to put in 6036. The username is going to be, in this case, demo. For most of you, you'll have your own username and password. Now you have your two options down here at the bottom, live preview and playback. If you click on it, you'll see that you could choose between main and extra. Extra will keep the pictures on substream when you load them up. This will use up a lot less bandwidth, especially if you're on your mobile network. It will prevent you from over-utilizing data. If you do want to see the high quality streams, there is a way to switch over, which I will go over further. And you can also click the main button. Playback, we're going to go ahead and click main. And then we're going to click start live preview. As you see, it's now connected to the office DVR that we have here. If you like, you could swipe to the left or to the right to switch between groups of cameras. If you'd like to see a individual camera, you can double tap on it and it will bring you to the individual camera. If you double tap again, it will take you back out to the four channel grid. You can do the same with the nine channel grid or the 16. Down at the bottom here, you can see that we have different options. This left button, the little camera, actually takes a snapshot and saves it to your phone. The record button will allow you to do a local record, meaning it will record to your cell phone of that particular camera. The next button is a instant playback. You see, well, in this case, there was no motion detection going on. Let me find a camera that has motion. As you can see, it goes back a few minutes to get back to regular time, just click it again. Some cameras have a built-in two-way audio. If that is the case, you can click this microphone button here to talk out of the camera. Click it again to turn it off. At the bottom over here, you will see this little monitor with two mountains on it. If you click that, you see on the left side we have a chopped up mountain and on the right side a whole mountain. The chopped up mountain will allow you to view substream and the whole mountain will switch it to master stream. You also have your sound feature. So if you have a camera that has a microphone attached to it, audio recording, you can listen to the audio by clicking this little sound icon here. If you have cameras that you view very often. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and use the 
outdoor cameras, you can actually save them to a favorites group. So if you click this little star icon on the bottom right, we can create a new favorites group. And I can now add these cameras to this favorites group. So I'm going to swipe to the right, pick out a new camera, click that, and it added to favorites. So again, I'm going to swipe to the right and continue to add these outdoor cameras. Now there's a button that you can use to close all the channels. It's going to be this little grid with the X in front of it right here. It'll close all of your cameras. Now, we're going to click the plus button here. And you can see I now have the favorites added to the top for outdoor cameras. If you click that, you can choose the cameras that you'd like. Another option to view all of the cameras from the DVR is to click this grid on the top right with the recorder over it. If you click that and actually select this little icon here, you will select all of the cameras. In this case, because the cameras are in my outdoor camera favorites, it adds them in there. And then click Start Live Preview. It will load up all the cameras for you. And that is it for Live Preview.